Good day, subscribers. Well, we made it. Today is the first episode of Semester 1, Signing Up for Classes. If you would like to see the previous episode before watching this one, click the banner in the upper right-hand corner. Just like the previous episode, I want to thank all of my subscribers for joining me as I go through this program. We made it over 20 subscribers, which is fantastic, so let's keep it going. I really enjoy making these videos, and hope you all gain something from them as well. This episode's comic is a software engineer's classic excuse for goofing off, compiling. Before signing up for classes, I wanted to look at the availability for the classes that I was most interested in. I was hoping to take CS6475, Computational Photography, if I couldn't get into that, CS6476, Computer Vision, and if I couldn't get into that, CS6300, Software Development Process. This screenshot is taken from Buzzport's registration lookup, mentioned in Semester Zero, Episode 3 of this series, that Georgia Tech uses to sign up for classes. From looking at this screenshot, it doesn't seem like there was a lot of room in my top choices. I received my time ticket on January 2nd. The time ticket can be viewed by going through OSCAR on the Buzzport, then Student Services and Financial Aid, Registration, Registration Status, and then you select your term. As you can see, my time ticket opens on January 3rd at 9.45. Additionally, you can see if you have any holds on your account. A hold would be anything that would hold you back from signing up for classes such as missed payment, or any other problems with your account. I have these green check marks, so as you can see, I have no holds. When my time ticket opened, I went on to Buzzport to register, and the registration page looked like this. As you guys can see, on the left, there are check marks that can be used to select the courses you wish to register for. It should be noted, and I didn't figure this out until after I had already tried to sign up for classes, that each course has its own section. For example, here there is section O01 and OCY. For OMSCS students, we are section O01. If you try to sign up for sections of other courses, you will get an error that looks something like this when you try to register. After signing up for classes, you can check your status by going through Buzzport Oscar, Student Services and Financial Aid, Registration, and then Student Detailed Schedule. For courses you are waitlisted for, you can view your waitlist position found here. For courses you are registered for, you can see all of the information for that course. And for anybody wondering, you are able to drop registered courses if you get the notification to enter waitlisted courses as long as it is done within the registration time period. Lastly, let's just take a look at some of the important dates. We have got our time ticket and have registered for classes. So next, we have our first day of classes starting on Monday the 7th. Thank you all for watching. Like I said, my first day of classes is next week so videos will start to come out more regularly whenever I get new information to share. I hope you all enjoyed the video and were able to learn something. If you have any questions or video requests, let me know in the comments. Thanks and subscribe.